Hello, good morning. It's still morning here. Uh, John of the Taylor 95. Hello, YouTube. Hello, New World Defenders. It's uh, July 4th, 2011. It's about five minutes of noon in uh, Eastern Time Zone. I'm joined today by uh, Nick Voice. Uh, we're going to participate in the uh, 60 Seconds for Freedom here. And uh, I just happened to notice as I came out here to uh, head to the center of the uh, street. Uh, just wanted to point this out that we are, uh, let me see if I can get that for you. We are at Declaration, uh, Declaration Drive, corner of, and Chamonix Valley Road. Uh, just getting ready to uh, participate in the 60 Seconds for Freedom. Uh, hope everyone is. Uh, is excited about this. I uh, don't see a lot of people around, um, but didn't anticipate we'd be seeing a lot of people around. Uh, I think the idea kind of was, uh, you know, if you believe that there's a, the, the, there's a wrong going on and you believe what we're dealing with today is, uh, is not right, uh, that this would be a great way, nonviolent, doesn't cost anything, uh, to show your numbers, show your uh, show your uh, disdain for the status quo, and um, that's kind of what we're doing here. So, uh, you know, Nick, did you have anything that you wanted to uh, add? Let me throw you in here. Now I'm just happy yeah. to be able to uh, come out and actually just do something that I feel like doing. That's uh, that's free. That uh, has a little bit of an impact. Um, hopefully, uh, be able to grow this uh, in the future as um, we come in contact with more and more people. Um, I didn't either anticipate it to be crowds of people coming out here, um, but I know that around the world people are having the same feelings, um, and I'm just glad to uh, partake in this as well. So. Good, good, good. Well stated. Uh, for for those of you who uh, don't know, uh, Nick has started his own channel, uh, Nick Voice Eleven. Uh, you can find him on YouTube. Um, also, uh, we're uh, also uh, on Facebook. Uh, you can check out Jonathan Taylor uh, and uh, Nick Voice uh, on Facebook. Um, just looking forward. Uh, you know, a lot of the questions that I get asked about this are, are of a negative nature. You know, what do you expect to get out of this? What what is the what is the purpose? What what you know? You're not going to get enough people to be involved in it. Um, it's not going to have enough of an impact. Well, we can keep coming up with excuses why not to do something. We can keep coming up with excuses as to, you know, uh, what would work better, wh who uh, is is in the position to make those decisions, um, and who decides what's going to work and what isn't going to work. But the, the reality of our situation is we have to do something, you know. And one of the one of the uh, one of the big questions that got asked is, okay, then what? You know, what, you know, say, say this happens, then what? Well, that's the beauty of it. It happens in your neighborhood. It happens in your community. You make it what it is, okay? Um, I've already looked forward. You know, uh, this uh, doesn't uh, take off as, uh, as I hope uh, it would. Uh, that's fine. Uh, you know, for those people that do go out and they, they do come across someone else, that's great. You know, uh, build on that. But I'm also looking forward. I mean, you know, uh, I'll, I'll, I'm going to upload this video today once we're, once we're done here and come tomorrow, I'm going to start working on Memorial Day. You know, we'll do it again, you know, and hopefully uh, each time that we do it, we will attract more and more people to it. And, and if that happens, then the awakening continues and, and it perpetuates itself. So hopefully if you go out today and, you know, like Nick said, uh, I agree, we're probably not going to see a whole lot of people. We may. I hope we do. I would think that I would be seeing them already heading out uh, as we're closing in here. I think we're pretty close. Uh, I'm going to go with, uh, yeah, i got one minute and uh, then we're going to head out. Um, literally feet from where I'm standing now. Uh, but uh, the end-all result is it's going to be what we make it. You know, the people that actually participate and they, they show a genuine interest in this and they want to do it uh, out, out of that knowing there's something wrong, then it's going to perpetuate itself and it's going to get bigger and it's going to get bigger. And like I said, you know, we'll look towards Memorial Day for the next one and, you know, we'll look at the next holiday after that and the next holiday after that. And I will keep pushing this uh, as far as I have to. But as time is short, we're, uh, we're now at the noon hour in uh, the Eastern Time Zone. And uh, I'm going to turn the camera around and just show you some of the uh, 
the street here. Uh, actually going to continue to walk down the middle of the street as we, as we do so. All right, so we'll turn you around here. You can get a look at you know what we're looking at. It's 12, uh, 12 o'clock noon in the Eastern Time Zone. And uh, this is a beautiful uh, suburb of Philadelphia uh, that I live in. It's called Ben Salem, uh, named after Ben Franklin. And uh, I couldn't think of a better place to be doing this and uh, hoping to uh, come across someone. If we do, we do. We'll kind of swing back around, see what we got over here. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's what you make out of it, folks. You know, uh, it, for me, it was just an idea. How do you come up with something that's going to be nonviolent? Uh, something that's not going to cost people a lot, not a lot of travel involved, uh, and is going to have impact. And, you know, some people would look at this and say, oh, you're walking down an empty street. Yeah, that's true. I am. And I, you know, I'll upload this video and hopefully those of you who see it and want to pass it along, that's great. But, you know, the bottom line comes down to we have to do something. And flash mobs and protests, they just make us out to be crazy people. And, uh, you know, th that's not helping any anyone. You know, end all result, we've been out here going on uh, a minute 40, and we haven't come across anyone, but we're here. We are uh, representing ourselves as free people. And Nick, I just want to thank you Glad for coming out, Glad all right, enjoying. Uh, and, you know, this just shows us the mountain that we have to climb, folks. Uh, you know, the, the, the people that we help aren't necessarily the people that are willing to help themselves but if we don't spread, send the message if we don't let people know what's going on and we don't take action ourselves then we have nobody to blame but ourselves and uh, you know as uh, as a wise man once said I would uh, I would rather die on my feet than live on my knees and uh, you know get the message out happy Independence Day uh, ladies and gentlemen brothers and sisters peace and love and uh, God bless the resistance you uh, keep the faith. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you made a contact. Hopefully you ran into someone. Hopefully someone asked you what you were doing. I was really hoping to get on videotape. Somebody coming out to say, "Hey, you know, what are you doing?" But that didn't happen. But here we are, and uh, you know, peace. And remember, we'll uh, do it again for Memorial Day. So perpetuate the word. Okay. Love you guys. Have a good one.